So if you guys did not see my video that I made on how the Warriors are in trouble, and I mentioned the LA Lakers game, and they lost 124-111. After that game, I was so disappointed. Every single quarter was so disappointing. Every single Golden State Warriors fan thought, you know what, it's the officer break, they got nine days off. They're gonna play different now, right? And everyone excited, you know what I'm saying? And this is how they play, like, they play like shit absolutely destroyed by the Lakers, bro. You know what the funny thing is? LeBron James and Anthony Davis combined for 25 points. You let Malik Beasley drop 22 points on you. You let him cook you. You let Austin Reeves, that bench warmer, cook you, bro. That Lakers team, if you guys see him in the plane, they're knocking us out, I'm gonna be honest with you. Because the way you guys are playing right now, it's done. Even in the third quarter, look at Steph Curry's face. If the Warriors actually wanna win, bro, they gotta get Steph Curry back, and Steph Curry has to do a lot of stuff to win the championship this year. This guy, he's carrying a bum team to the finals, and he's gonna win it. Because I'm just tired of this team, honestly. Lazy on defense, turnovers, fouls, loving the three-point shot. We I mean, get a year to go and say, Warriors, you guys are known for the three-point shot. But yo, at least take it to the paint, bro. Get some good shots up. That one person that was trying on that court yesterday, which I love, bro, is Kewan Looney, bro. Offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. Every time the Lakers missed the shot, he was there to get the rebound. But his heart is. The rest of the team had no energy. Like, Ty Jerome, he's just playing. He's like, yeah, I don't want to be here. Anthony Lamb, they should not be getting minutes. I don't care if they've been doing good this season, bro. They're, bro, they're literally two-way players. My message to Andre Iguodala is, bro, just retire already. Give another spot to someone on the roster. Sign Demarcus Cousins. Let him sign Serge Ibaka, bro. Warriors team is garbage. And you know what hurts me the most, bro? Say this, bro. Last year we won a championship. I thought we were going to win it back this year. That's what hits deep, bro. Last year we won. And this year we thought, you know what, the Warriors are going to win it back. Yes, sir. But guess what? That's not going to happen. If you keep playing like this, these garbage performances, and everyone's gonna be like, yo, 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 it's only been the first game back from the All-Star game. But, bro, the Warriors been doing this every single game this year. And the fans are just tired of it, bro. It's not good for the mental health. The Golden State Warriors are finished. I'm going to be honest with you. They're playing the Rockets today. And if they lose to the Rockets, Jalen Greentown and Ken Porter Jr. is out, bro. If the Warriors lose tonight's game, I'm going to lose my mind. The Rockets' best scorer is literally Sangoon right now. Win this game at least by 20. The Warriors know I win by 20 at least. We lost this game. I want to see some more energy. We're at home right now. We got to play with energy. The White is just not the same. Ever since that punch by Dream on Green to Jordan Poole, it hasn't been the same, let's be honest. Like, you would think things would be different right now. What is it? Team is absolutely garbage right here, and I can't just keep defending them, bro. This whole season has been terrible. Steve Kerr is literally just coaching is different. He's coaching is stupid. He needs some size. And you know what's wrong with Steve Kerr? You should have let James Wiseman play, bro. But you don't want to, because you just want to play. You just want to play Ty Jerome and Anthony Lyon the whole game. You could have gave Paul Baldwin Jr. He looked great out there yesterday. Baldwin Jr., you need a good shooter. Jr. for you right there. He's a good solid defender too, bro. And he's tall. And you get some size with him. But Steve Kerr, guess what? He's only, he's not going to help out the team. And you know, also a big brother, you're so garbage on defense right now, is Mike Brown. He was such a good assistant coach, but now he's in the Kings. No wonder the Kings are the thirsty right now. Their defense is crazy. The Sacramento Kings are only good because of Mike Brown, bro. The Warriors got to step it up. This vibe is just different. This is not the Golden State Warriors we all know, bro. Curry, literally, I feel bad for that guy, bro. He's injured right now. He's supposed, he's supposed to be healing. He's watching his team lose every single game. What did he do? He's human. Like, once Seth Curry comes back healthy and Gary Payton comes back healthy, I think there's going to be a switch. And his team right there. The wives are gonna be different because and Gary Payton knows the whole Warriors system. And watch when Warriors are all healthy this season, bro. The Seth Curry's gonna probably come back in like a couple of weeks or something. Gary Payton's also gonna come back before the playoffs. Hopefully, he plays half the games. And that Warriors team's gonna be looking different. But this Warriors team right now, if they keep on playing like this, this team's not making it anywhere. I swear to God, right now the Warriors play like this, what they put like yesterday. They bounce out the play and they're getting bounced out the playoffs. Lakers team is hungry right now. That Blazers team is hungry too. That OKC Thunder team's hungry as well. Every single game you lose is gonna add more pressure. It drop, 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 drop in the standings. What? The West standings, bro. 
Well, because it's one. If you lose one game, you're literally the worst teams in the West. But if you win one game, you're one of the best teams in the West. They better do something today. They better beat today. They better win today and beat the Timberwolves too, because they're at home. At three home games in a row, they better win all three home games. If the Warriors lose one of those home games, I'm actually gonna be tired of this team. They're below 500 right now, which is crazy to me. Suffer in the trade deadline. Watch every team make moves, and we just made one move in Gary Payton, bro. Not a lot, that move was good. But like, you could have got some size in the bottom market, bro. Yo, oh, look at the Suns, they're going after Derrick Rose right now. They got Kevin Durant, they're getting Derrick Rose. That team's a championship contender team, bro. What else, we're doing no moves. There's still time. Sign DeMarcus Cousins right now. Because we're not gonna win like this, bro. Sign a big, sign straight to back on. We need some, some size. We get it, you guys want with the small ball lineup, but it's not gonna work all the time. The Golden State Warriors have a major issue. If the Warriors lose tonight, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that's gonna go wrong this season, bro. To play like this. Like, you should at least like try, bro. Try for the fans. The fans, the fans this year, bro, they've been going through it all. Guess what? They're still supporting you. They're still supporting you, bro. I've seen so many people making videos about how the Warriors are gonna be champions of here. They already lost 30 games, bro. And guess what? They still have faith. At least show like you care, bro. Yesterday, I saw a bunch of bumps that don't want to play a game. I bet the G League team. On the best day, it will be us. Because that's what you play like. Oh my god, that third quarter was... Don't even talk about that third quarter. No one talked about that third quarter, bro. We scored... Yeah, Alice scored us 36 to 24. And guess what, guess what, guess what? It wasn't even LeBron James or Anthony Davis. It was Austin Riggs and Malik Beasley. I liked, I liked, I liked a little bit what I saw on defense yesterday. A little bit. Draymond Green, he was out there defensively good. But you're playing pretty really good defense for a little bit in that uh, second quarter. And you know what? The only player that oh, gets my respect for yesterday is Kevon Looney. Not Clay Thompson, Brandon Poole, not Draymond Green, not anyone. Kevon Looney, that guy, guess what? He was getting all the boards, bro. He was trying to make his team come back. Second, second, you have Malik Beasley opening the corner. You got Mo Bamba hitting these. You got LeBron James hitting threes. The defender's right here. LeBron's back there. He's going to get the lob easily. Team has to play better. We got another game today, and I think I think we'll win this game. This game is really important right now. If you guys want to have a good start with the 23 games left, you guys are gonna win tonight's game. Next seven games for us is big. First we play it's which we have to win. Timberwolves, Blazers, these Bucks. Those games against the Bucks, Suns, and the Grizzlies, they're easy. You have to, and I think Steph and the Lakers too. Again, I think Steph Curry is going to be back for that Lakers game. So we should be favorites. But thing is, we missed Steph Curry after yesterday. There was no offense going. Steph Curry yesterday, if he was playing, he would destroy that Lakers team easily. He would have dropped 30 points easily. Curry is literally the Golden State Warriors, bro. I rely on Jordan Poole to be your leading scorer every single night. There was a baddie there, but he wasn't playing like he's supposed to be playing. That, that effect is over. Klay Thompson hit a good game. But, like, I don't know what he was doing on defense. Jordan Poole, you got paid a bag. You got paid more than Andrew Wiggins, which you shouldn't have deserved. Because Wiggins is actually a good defender. He tries on defense. And guess what? He's also good offensively, too. And he got paid less than you. You need to act like you care, bro. Well, that's going to be for this vid, bro. I'm tired of this team every single game of the season. But, you know, we got to see what they look like tonight against the Rockets. Because I'm tired. I'll see you guys maybe in my reaction to today's game. Until something major happens.